Community Coffee is the proud sponsor of the Dave Campbell's Texas Football Community Leader Award, and we are excited to celebrate here today. Westlake team doctor, Dr. Newt Hassan from Westlake High School, who is one of 10 recipients of the Community Leader Award. Joining us to celebrate Dr. Hassan is boys assistant athletic director and head football coach of the Westlake Chaparral's, Tony Salazar. And on behalf of Community Coffee is Miss Tina West. Now, Dr. Hassan, uh, tell us a little bit about what your reaction was when you found out that Coach Salazar had selected you uh, as uh, Westlake's recipient of the Community Leader Award and, um, you know, what the Westlake community has, has meant to you. Well, this honor is totally unexpected, but very appreciated, I assure you. As with most volunteers, however, I don't do what I do in hopes of ever being honored for it. I do it because I want to be of service. What makes Westlake so special? Well, Westlake is consistently ranked among the finest academic high schools, not only in the state of Texas, but in the entire United States. Yet in 2019, 2020, and 2021, we won three consecutive Texas Class 6A state championships in football, which shows that academic excellence and football prowess are not mutually exclusive. Over the past 33 years, we have been to the state championship game 11 times. But although year in and year out, we field championship caliber football teams, winning as we do is not our birth rate. As with most successful programs anywhere, it is a result of the hard work of both the coaches and the players with the support of the players' parents, the school administration, and the community. Even if I were afforded a couple of hours, I could not adequately explain to everybody just what an outstanding leader Coach Salazar is of our entire football program and what an outstanding football coach and mind he is and has. As you mentioned before we went on the air, last night we completed our regular season, once again going, once again going 10 and 0 with five shutouts and we only allowed 77 points the entire regular season. And Coach Salazar has assembled an assistant coaching staff every bit as outstanding. From the first week in August, usually through the middle of December, these coaches work seven days a week, and they work hard, but the results speak for themselves. I feel comfortable in saying that there is not a finer high school coaching football staff any place in the United States. Now, although we've had a number of high-profile quarterbacks and other players come through our program over the years, the vast, vast majority of our players never go on and play college football. But what a joy it is to watch each and every one of our Shaps players give everything they've got year-round for four years to a cause bigger than themselves, Westlake football and Texas high school football. Now, not everyone is cut out to be a Shaps football player. Getting up 
at O Dark 30 every Tuesday and Wednesday morning, being dressed and in a meeting room by 5.30 a.m. is not for every high school player, nor for every high school coach, but for those who have what it takes, the awards, rewards are tremendous because we use very often go deep, deep in the playoffs. Now, why I do what I do, in addition to wanting to serve, as I've already mentioned, and without going into the specifics, everything good that's ever happened to me in my life is because of football. From going to Duke as both an undergraduate and medical student to uh, getting a coveted residency in orthopedic surgery at Stanford and then a fellowship in sports medicine to even meeting and marrying my wife, they all are because of football. And volunteering as team doctor for the past 45 years, including 38 and counting at Westlake, it's just my way of saying thanks and uh, paying back a huge debt I owe all the while staying close to a sport that has meant so much to me. Long live Texas high school football. That was, that was awesome. And um, thank you so much for, for sharing that with us. And, and coach Salazar, uh, just, just reading your write-up on Dr. Hassan and, and the impact that he's had on the Chaparral community over the, over the years. Um, tell us why, why you believe him to be most deserving of, of this recognition and, and the impact in your words uh, on, on why you believe him uh, to be uh, one of the best community leaders in the state. Well, obviously, first and foremost, uh, you know, we're so blessed and honored to to be in the presence of such a, a servant leader. And I think that uh, sums up Dr. Hassan. He's 38 years at Westlake High School serving as our, our team doctor. That that speaks for itself. Uh, that's dedication. That's commitment. That's that's all the things that it comes to be a part of a team. Uh, and obviously, you know, coaches and players have changed through the years, but there's been a consistent guy behind it all. And that's been Dr. Hassan. And I can assure you every single year that uh, this program is is around and he's here. He, he He's the biggest high school sports uh, advocate uh, of, of anybody I've ever met. Uh, whether it's obviously he clearly stated his love for the great game of football, but it goes well beyond that. Uh, he's always the first to point out all of the um, the tremendous successes our, our, play, our student athletes have achieved on and off of the courts and the fields. And I think that's uh, you know, he's the first one to to bring awareness to any type of, um, you know, litigation or, or, or any type of, uh, of government, um, you know, requirement that may, you know, come to hurt uh, the, 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 the nice, you know, the uh, holistic organicness of, of high school athletics. And, and he's always there to look out after student athletes and obviously to look after mo more importantly, our Westlake student athletes. Uh, you know, he raised three beautiful children through this place. They were all very, uh, you know, very impactful in their time here, uh, whether it be on the academic side or the athletic side. Uh, he mentioned his his beautiful wife, Pam. She is obviously a, a, a pillar in our community as well, just as he is. Uh, you talk about those early mornings at 430 in the morning, uh, 530 in the morning. He's out there every single day and he's out there, you know, rain, uh, sleet or snow. And he's out there and he's braving it and he's there to be there for our kids. And it's such a comforting feeling in our football program in our field house to know he's there. He's there at practice. He's there at every game. And obviously we know that when we're not there, he's beating the drum to tell the whole world about the great things that are going on here at Westlake high school. And, and for that, we couldn't, we can't think of enough. Uh, we're so very fortunate to have him part of our team. Uh, and obviously he's um, we're indebted to him here at Westlake and he is the epitome of a community leader. Well, we are so grateful to get this opportunity to recognize Dr. Hassan uh, as one of 10 recipients of our Community Leader Award. And, and we couldn't do it without the support uh, of folks like Tina West uh, and her team at, at Community Coffee. Um, Tina, tell us why it was important for Community Coffee to step up to the plate to recognize these community leaders that are so influential um, behind the scenes um, uh, across the state of Texas, not only there at Westlake High School, but, but across the state. 
Sure, no, and, and thank you, Rob, and thank you for letting me be a part of this. At Community Coffee, we're honored and so excited to partner with Dave Campbell's Texas Football. Uh, it's no, I certainly don't have to tell this group, if you've spent any time in Texas, you know that Dave Campbell's is the source for all things Texas football, and we couldn't be happier to partner and proud to sponsor this Community Leader Award. Uh, the community, it's, it's in our name. It's in our DNA. We are 104 years old, a fourth generation family owned company. And from the beginning, uh, it's part of our roots. It's part of our culture that we celebrate and support those that make our communities thrive. And what we just heard, everything we just heard, Dr. Hassan, from you and from, from Mr. Salazar and everything you're doing in the Westlake community to support the teams, the athletes, just everyone involved, that is exactly why we are a part of this Community Leader Award and why it exists. So uh, again, it's just so important for us to recognize people, outstanding people that are doing outstanding things in their communities and making such an impact. Uh, you mentioned that this was on a volunteer basis. So you don't have to do this clearly okay. just in your day-to-day -day life. I'm sure your schedule was more than busy, but you prioritize doing this to helping those around you and in your community. And, and for that, uh, I guess, I'll wrap it up quickly by saying just on behalf of Community Coffee, we thank you and we celebrate you and congratulations. Now, Coach Salazar, uh, I'll bounce this back to you. Uh, you know, we we get the pleasure at Dave Campbell's of covering Texas high school football at a statewide level. And um, I think you'd agree with me uh, in, in saying that there are so many people behind the scenes that that make Friday night happen that um, are working hard seven days a week, like Dr. Hassan had 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 discussed. Um, and people don't see that all the time. They see the product on the field. They see, um, you know, the wins, the Friday night lights. Um, tell us what it means to you to have uh, sponsors like Community Coffee that are stepping up to the plate to shine the light on those community leaders um, that are working behind the scenes, not only there at Westlake High School, but across the state of Texas as well. Right. And obviously it's, it's tough to recognize all the people that go into every single Friday night win. And, and, you know, I think first and foremost, the, the, the attention needs to go to the student athletes because they're the ones that do the hard work. <laughs> we all wish we could still run and tackle and throw like those guys, young men can still do, uh, but we can't. And, and obviously they, they're the ones doing all the physical work and, and, and it's controlling their schedules and their lives every single day. But obviously to get to the point to a Friday night game and, and to come away with the victory, it's not just those players. It's it's Monday through Friday. It's Saturday. It's Sunday. It's the healing. It's the treatment. It's it's the athletic trainers. It's our team doctors, obviously. It's everybody that's getting our kids from one game to the next, and and in hopes uh, in our in our in our, tra our our track here towards uh, hopefully you know a 16 game season. Uh, there's some bumps and bruises that come along the way, and, and obviously to have you know a, a tremendous sports medicine staff and, and obviously the best team doctor in the state of Texas. Uh, that's just, you know, I mean, it's, it, it, we're just so blessed. We're blessed and fortunate to have him. We're blessed that community coffee recognizes these people that we know are so important to our program. Uh, we know that uh, there's, they have these same roles in different pro various programs across the state. Uh, we know that they do the same thing. They, they work on getting these student athletes back on the field and competition as quickly as possible. Uh, obviously he, uh, Dr. Hassan mentioned, you know, the parents uh, at our place, our parent support is tremendous. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be some community leaders around uh, that you guys recognize that are parents that do so much for their communities and for their schools. Uh, so, yeah, I think uh, it's never just one group that does it. it. It's a community that wins it. And uh, I think how fitting is it for community coffee to, to be recognizing these tremendous leaders in these communities that uh, are obviously vital and essential to the successes of their programs. Now, Dr. Hassan, I know it's never easy to sit there and uh, listen to everybody talk about all these these uh, great things about you, but we we want you to know that you're appreciated and uh, for all the work that you do uh, to support the the Westlake community and, and those kids, we'll give you the final words. Any any final words for uh, 
Tina, the team at Community Coffee, and, and Dr. Salazar? Well, obviously, I want to thank Community Coffee for sponsoring these awards, for their generous donation to Westlake High School in my name, and for their overall general, gener, generous support of Texas high school football overall. Well, Dr. Hassan, uh, on behalf of Dave Campbell's Texas Football and Community Coffee, congratulations again uh, on receiving the Community Leader Award. And like you said, uh, Community Coffee will be making a $500 donation to the Westlake program in your name. A special thank you, Coach Salazar, uh, for carving out the time to be here with us uh, as we spotlight uh, Dr. Hassan and all his great accomplishments there uh, at Westlake High School. And last but not least, uh, a special thank you to Tina and the team at Community Coffee for your support of the Dave Campbell's Texas Football Community Leader Award.